tonight on Greed. This is Robert Abramoff. Previously on Greed, he won $310,000. Tonight, he may win $1 million more. This is Madeline Ali. Previously on Greed, she won $320,000. Tonight, she may win $1 million. In the next hour, one of these people will get a chance to answer one question worth $1 million. Who will it be? Find out tonight on Greed. From Los Angeles, it's the biggest game show in television history, where one person in one night could walk away with over $2 million. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Greed. And now, Chuck Woolery. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome to the richest, most dangerous game in America. Last time on Greed, we had a team that reached $100,000 level. Now it's time for them to decide whether they're going to go for the $200,000 and continue up the Tower of Greed to the $2 million question. So let's meet them right now. Mark Westgard. Viberg, South Dakota. Teacher. Anne Marie Bukta. Manhattan Beach, California. Attorney. Penny Ridgeway. Birmingham, England. Journalist. Laser Gould. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Criminal defense attorney. David Namud. Chicago, Illinois. Teacher. All right. They're just four questions away from $2 million. In this round, the questions get a little bit harder, David. Each question has four correct answers. You're going to be depending on your teammates to come up with those answers. Uh, do you want to keep that 100000 or risk it? That's the question I need to ask you. But before you answer it, let me say this. The category for your $200,000 question is commercial endorsements. Now, you want to keep that 100000 Or do you feel the need for greed, David? Um... Go. I feel a definite need for greed, Chuck. So you're going to go on. All right. All right. That's the sound of the Terminator. It gives uh, one player a chance to eliminate another player and take his or her money by challenging them to a one-question showdown. Or they can keep the team the way it is. But to sweeten the pot, I'm going to give the challenger $10,000 to play the showdown, win or lose. So let's activate the Terminator now. Terminator's chosen you. Is there anyone here you would like to call out and challenge for their position and their yes, money? Yes, uh, David. Come on, David. Here we go. Mark wants to be the captain right over here, David, if you will. Mark, you're challenging. You'll be on this side. Here is your $10,000. I'm going to ask you one question. You can buzz in anytime you think you know the answer. Okay? Winner will be playing for $80,000. The loser will be out of the game. Okay, here's your question. What U.S. astronaut orbited the Earth in 1962? John Glenn. That's exactly right, and 1998. Gotcha, David. Sorry about that. All right. You're the new captain. All right, and here we go. So, ladies and gentlemen, here is your $200,000 question. I said it was commercial endorsements for which four of the following six has Michael Jordan done national television commercials? Gatorade, Haynes, Radio Shack, Taco Bell, Nike, MCI. Now, you've earned a freebie. This is good to take away any wrong answer anytime during the, anytime up to $2 million. So, if you want to use it now, you can use it now. You can save it till later. Uh, we'll save it. Gonna save it. Okay. Anne-Marie, give me the first answer. Well, probably the most famous shoe around is the Nike Air Jordan. I'm going with Nike. Pretty safe there. Penny? I say MCI. MCI. Laser. I'm going to go with Gatorade. Gatorade. And Mark? I will say Haynes. Haynes. OK, Mark, you're the captain. Is there anything in there that you want to change? Any one answer? If not, you can keep them the way they are. I like our answers. Like your answers? OK, everybody. $200,000. Here we go. Is the first one Nike? It 
Is MCI a correct answer? Yes. Looking for Gatorade. That's three. Well, Martin. Guess who's last? Guess who has the last answer, Mark? That would be you. Okay. So here's twenty thousand dollars. Okay. That you can distribute among your teammates, including you. Okay. If you're a little concerned about Haynes, I have no idea what the answer is on this. I'm sure that uh, maybe you do, maybe you don't. If you don't and you feel very insecure, here's twenty thousand dollars. If you feel very secure that Haynes is worth $200,000, or if you want to take a chance, then you give me my money back, and I well, hope I'll give you 200000 It's up to you. Well, I appreciate the offer. I think I saw a commercial. He was walking in the park, and two ladies checked out his underwear. He yeah. said, by the way, they're boxers. So I'm, I'm going to stay with Haynes. Give me my money. All right. Yeah, they seem to be. All your teammates seem to agree with that. $200,000. where one player will get a chance, guaranteed chance, to play for $1 million. Be back with more greed right after this. Welcome back to Greed, everybody. We're here with Anne Marie, Penny, Laser, Mark. Got a good team, Mark. You do. $200,000 in your pocket. You have $80,000. Everybody else has $40,000. Now the question is, do you want to risk that 200000 go for a half a million? And before you answer that, let me help you decide. The category for your half million dollar question is jobs. Now, you want to keep the 200000 No. Or do you feel the need for greed? Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Marie. Terminator has chosen you. Is there any uh, body on this team that you want to call out and challenge? Give you $10,000, win or lose. I'm going to take the challenge, and I'm going to challenge Mark. Going to be another captain. Here we go, Mark. Hey, Mark, you'll be here. Anne Marie, you'll be here. She does it with such a smile on her face, too. Uh, here's your $10,000. Winner's gonna play for $300,000. Loser is out of the game. Gonna ask you a question. You can buzz in anytime you think you know the answer. Good luck to both of you. Here we go. What cable network bills itself as television for women? Yes. Lifetime. That's exactly right. Oh. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, here we go. Got the woman's question. Everything. It all went your way. Here's your 10,000. Come right over here. You are a new captain. Well, congratulations. You'll now be playing for $300,000, Anne-Marie. Let's see if you can lead this team to $500,000. And here is your half-million-dollar question. According to a November 1999 Gallup poll, which four of the following seven professions do Americans feel are the most honest and ethical. Veterinarians, nurses, K through 12 teachers, daycare providers, policemen, pharmacists, judges. The K through 12, I think most people know is kindergarten, but just in case for those of you who don't, kindergarten through 12th grade. You wanna use the freebie by the way, Anne-Marie? I think I do want to use the freebie, Chuck. You do? All right. Start with you, Penny. Give me a correct answer. I think um, nurses are honest and ethical. Nurses? Yes. Honest and ethical. Laser, correct answer, please. Well, uh, Chuck, I think that uh, anybody that works with animals is probably honest and ethical. I'm going to say veterinarians. Veterinarians. That's two. Anne-Marie? 
I'm going to say pharmacists. Pharmacists. That is three. There's one left. You can either answer it yourself, or you can pass it off to a teammate. I believe I'm going to pass it to Laser. Laser? Whoa. The final answer. Well, I hope I'm right. I'm going to say uh, kindergarten through 12th grade teachers. That's the fourth and final answer. Unless there's something there that you would like to change, Anne-Marie, are you happy with these answers? I'm going to stick with these answers. You're going to stick with these four answers? Good luck. I hope you win the half million. <sighs> Veterinarians, is that correct? Honest and ethical. Yeah. Yeah. There they are. <laughs> Nurses. Absolutely right. That's two. Kindergarten through 12th grade teachers. Honest and ethical. Most. Is that right? Yes. That's three. Well. Well, it's time for me to pull out the big money. $50,000 there. There it is. Just in case most people don't believe pharmacists are ethical and honest, I'll give you this $50,000 in exchange for the chance of that last answer. It's up to you. I'm going to give you the money. You can hold it. You can look at it. You can decide to keep it or give it back to me. It's up to you. This money feels great, but something tells me I need to give it back. Okay. Right. Yeah. I applaud your courage, Anne Marie. For five hundred thousand dollars. Is it pharmacists? Yes. Two questions away from $2 million, Mort Reed, right after this. Stay tuned for the Million Dollar Moment on Greed. Welcome back to Greed, everybody. Boy, I tell you, this is very exciting here. $500,000, Kenny, Laser, Anne-Marie, you're doing great. I mean, it's really, really interesting here now because the dynamic comes in where you're captain. You wanted to be captain. Yeah, you're controlling this whole team. Everybody here, Penny and Laser, have $100,000. And of course, you have $310,000 on the line for this next decision. So you're in control. If they had 100 and you were sitting over there and had 300, maybe they would make a different decision. Never know. It's kind of interesting. Maybe you want more. We're going to find out. Because before you answer whether you want to go for a million or not, I'm going to give you the category for the million dollar question, Anne-Marie. Here it is. Brand names. Now, you want to risk the 500,000, go for a million? We could do it twice today. We're going to go for a million later in the show. You want to risk it? Huh? Oh, I'm just not that comfortable with this category. Not comfortable with it? I'm going to stay. We're going to stay. keep your quick. half million? Congratulations. Very nicely done. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. Really good. Really good. $300,000. $100,000 for Penny. $100,000 for Laser. Enormous amount of money. Congratulations. Go down here and meet your team. Congratulations. Congratulations, you guys. Congratulations to all of you. Very nicely done. Right over this way, if you will, or that way, if you want. It doesn't matter. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, it's time to meet our next team. Patrice Cole Umberson. Billings, Montana, cosmetologist. Jeff Esther. Palo Alto, California, retired. Jeffrey Bailey. 
Whittier, California, respiratory therapist. Brandy Whitmore. Danville, California, music management. Michael Berman. Williston Park, New York, website content producer. Kyle Coolish. Phoenix, Arizona, hobby specialist. Welcome, everybody. We start off with six players. In a moment, we'll be down to five players. By the end of the game, there may be only one player left. Because if you're smart enough, courageous enough, and greedy enough, some of you, or maybe even one of you, could win over $2 million. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll be you. All right. Let's get started by asking our qualifying question. Five players closest to the correct answer, high or low, will make up our team. And here is your question. According to JVC, how many feet of videotape are contained in a standard 120-minute VHS cassette? Two-hour-long cassette. How many feet? Your time starts now. Okay. All the answers are locked in. Here's the correct answer. 807 feet. Yeah, oh, you all have kind of stunned looks on your faces. Well. Thank goodness it's high or low. With that in mind, who's our captain? You're closest, Patrice. You're the captain. Right over here. Who's our next player? You, Michael. You're next in line. Position number one. And who's next? It's going to be you, Kyle. Right over here. 240. Who's next? Jeff, 150. You're right over here. Well, it's between Jeffrey and Brandy. Who came closest? Let's see. It's going to be you, Jeffrey, with 60 feet. Brandy, back into the contestant pool, and thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your next team for green. Well, every team has a common foe. In this case, we call it the Tower of Greed. We start off with $25,000. And in $25,000 multiples, it goes up to $100,000. There it doubles at $200,000. Then moves on to $500,000. It doubles. Goes to a million dollars. It doubles again. The grand prize of $2 million. Now remember, any time a team misses a question, they lose everything. Patrice, you're the captain. You're going to have a lot of responsibility. You're going to decide just how far you can take your team up the Tower of Greed. You can stop any time. Uh, you can keep the cash. You can also reject any answer and replace it with one of your own. Okay? Okay. We're going to start off with a $25,000 question. Before we do that, we're going to take a short break. Come right back with more greed right after this. Stay with us. Remember to stay tuned for the million dollar moment later tonight on Greed. Later tonight, Greed's million dollar moments. Welcome back to Greed, everybody. Well. <laughs> We got four great big masculine guys over here led by a lady, and I know she's going to do a great job. Our first question is coming up. It's going to be to you, Jeffrey. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Now, Jeffrey, I was noticing where you were standing up here, you look like you're in great shape. Now, is that genetic, or do you have to work out to do that? Um, well, I do work out. Um, yeah. Any suggestions yeah. for us who should work out and probably don't do it enough? Yeah, well, other than sex, um, I would probably say... <laughs> Excuse me, Jeffrey. I would probably say... <laughs> Swimming or, you know, running, basketball, things like that. <laughs> it's nice to have you here, Jeffrey. And here is your $25,000 question. Oh, man. Well, keeping with your answer, which of the following natural phenomena is measured on the Richter scale? Floods, earthquakes, hurricanes, tornadoes. Well, that's a tough one, being from California. Mm. <laughs> Let's see. We'll I would take have your best see. shot. Yeah, I would have to say, um, earthquakes. What do you think, Patrice? I absolutely accept that answer. She accepts it. $25,000, is it? Earthquakes. Richter scale. Yeah. There it goes. Congratulations, $25,000. Want to keep it? Want to move on? on. She's going on. Hi, going Jeff. On. Hey, How are you, Jeff? I'm very good, thank are you. Are you really retired? I really am. How did you retire so young? I got really, really lucky in the internet business. And uh, oh, yeah. I'm not really retired, I'm just lazy. I don't, yeah. Really, yeah, I don't really do much. I just kind of oh, lounge Congratulations. See, yeah, I'm you. sure you'll do a lot with your life. And in the meantime, eh. here's your $50,000 question, Jeff. Thank you. 
Which of the following is not a standard number of exposures on a roll of 35 millimeter Kodak consumer film? 12, 24, 36, 39. I am absolutely positive uh, that would be 39. He's positive and you're nodding your head as if and you And I'm know. absolutely positive that he's positive, yes. He's taking 30, yep. okay, here we go, 39. Is that correct? For $50,000. Congratulations, Patrice. 50000 Keep the cash. Go for the 75. 75, yes. It's you, Kyle. Yeah. How are you doing? Very good. Yourself? I'm pretty good. I understand you have a lot of hobbies, things that you like to do. Can you tell me something about them? Yeah, I, uh, I'm a hobby specialist for an internet toy company. My job is to uh, play with planes, trains, and uh, fly them, operate them, and make sure they're in good working order. Well, Kyle, here is your $75,000 question. Good luck. According to Irish folklore, what would you find at the end of a rainbow? The Fountain of Youth, a Pot of Gold, the Blarney Stone, a Shillelagh, a Banshee. Uh, I would hope it would never be a Banshee. <laughs> and I'm hoping if we continue with this team, it's definitely going to be a Pot of Gold. Pot of gold. Absolutely agree. Uh, yes, accept it. $75,000. Is it a pot of gold? It is. Congratulations, Patrice. I'm sorry? I said congratulations. Oh, well, thank you. 75000 Keep the cash. Want to go you on? Kidding? We're going on, Chuck. Here we go. $100,000 to you, on. Michael. So you're a transplanted New Yorker, is that I right? I am. I now, am. Now, it says here that your body is in L.A., but your brain is in New York. What's, uh, what's going on with that? Not literally, but, you know, it's warm here. It's beautiful. You can plant on the beach in February here, but I miss yeah. New York. I miss the theater, just the life on the street, and good pizza and bagels. It's a wonderful, wonderful town, New York. Absolutely. It really is. Yep, I like it, too. Well, here, Michael, is your $100,000 question. Good luck. What common everyday item is the signature product of the Dixon Ticonderoga Company? Combs, pencils, soap, zippers, light bulbs. If I think back to my days in elementary school, I seem to recall the Dixon pencil. So I'm going to say pencils. Pencils. I accept that answer. Accept the answer for yes. $100,000? signature product of Dixon Ticonderoga is, is it pencils? It is. $100,000. Nicely done. Four questions away from $2 million. Be back. More greed right after this. Welcome back to Greed, everybody. We're here with Jeffrey, Jeff, Kyle, Michael, and their captain, Patrice. They are just four questions away from $2 million. In this round, of course, Patrice, things get a little bit harder. Right. Before we get to that, though, let me ask you something. You're a hairstylist, is that yes. right? Yes, from I am, where? Chuck. Montana? Billings, Montana, Billings, darling. Montana. Yeah. You must talk to a lot of people and spend oh, a lot of time. Do I do. Well, and you know what, Chuck? I'm also a numerologist and astrologer. Ah. So what I do is, when my clients come to me, I construct their chart, and I basically tell them all they need to know while I'm cutting their hair. Well, Handy, isn't a it? woman of many talents. <laughs> I am. Unbelievable. Well, <laughs> let's see if you can see in the future on this. Each question has four correct answers. You're going to be depending on your teammates, however, to come up with those answers. Uh, the decision is, do you want to keep that 100000 or do you want to risk it? Before you answer that question, let me tell you what the category of the next question is. Alrighty. $200,000 question category is food and drink. Now, do you want to keep the 100000 or Patrice? Do you we feel, feel the need? All right, that's the sound of the Terminator. It gives one player a chance to eliminate another player and take his or her money by challenging them to a one-question showdown. Or they can keep the team the way it is. But to sweeten the pot, I'm going to give the challenger $10,000 to play the showdown, whether they win or lose. So let's activate the Terminator now.
Jeffrey. Terminator's chosen you, Jeffrey. Is there anybody on this team you want to call out and challenge? Yeah, I am going to challenge my captain. Patrice, you've been challenged. Here we go. All right, here we go. Right on down here. Now, Patrice, since you've been challenged, you'll be on this side. Okay. Okay. Jeffrey, you're the challenger. You'll be on this side. Here is your $10,000, Jeffrey. You stick that in your pocket. Mm. It smells good. <laughs> it does. Okay. Winner's going to be playing for $80,000. Loser is out of the game. I'm going to ask you one question. You can buzz in any time you think you know the answer. Here we go. Good luck to both of you. In the 1990s, what billionaire founded the Reform Political Party? Jeffrey. Ross Perot. That is exactly right, and he got you. Thank you. Sorry, good New captain. Four of you left. Here is your $200,000 question. Which four of the following six are kinds of soup? Lobster bisque, tabbouleh, spaccio, mock turtle, vichyssoise, tiramisu. Now, You've come this far, you've earned a freebie. It will take away any wrong answer from any question from here on out. You can use it now, Jeffrey, or you can hold it till later. It's up to you. <sighs> here, I'm gonna use the freebie. You can use it now. I am gonna use it now. Okay. Freebie is in play, and Tabuli is now out of play. So, Jeff, give me a correct answer. Well, one of my favorites, Vichyssoise, I am positive is a soup. Vichyssoise. Kyle. I've had lobster bisque, so I know that's one answer. That's two. <laughs> he rubs his tummy. Michael. Sounds weird, but I know that they make mock turtle soup. So, mock turtle. That's three. Jeffrey. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna say, is that Capacho or how do you say that? Caspacho. 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 Okay. There's all four. Anything in there that you would like to change, Jeff? No. I'm gonna keep it the way it is. Keep it the way it is. Keep it the way it is. Here we go. All right, everybody. Is lobster bisque a correct answer? That Bichy Soise. That's correct. He said mock turtle soup. Is it correct? It is. Well, Jeffrey, now we're down to yours. That's right. Yours is the last answer up there. I don't know how it much is. confidence you have in that, but I'm going to offer you $20,000 for your answer. Just in case you're not too sure, you can give it to your teammates. Or you can risk this $20,000 and see if gazpacho is correct, if it's a soup. Up to you. What would you like to do? No, we're here to be greedy and, and risk it, so <laughs> yeah. okay. right or wrong, we're going right. to risk it. Right I love courage. $200,000. Gaspacho. Is that it? It is. Yes. Congratulations. Woo. Nicely done, Thank Jeffrey. Yeah, man. Well, that's great, Jeffrey. A lot of money. A lot of money to you guys. Everybody has $40,000 except you, Jeffrey. You have $80,000, of course, so. The question is, do you want to keep that 200000 or would you like to risk it and go for the half million? Before you answer that, let me tell you what the category is. The category for your half million dollar question is board games. Now, do you want to keep the 200000 or do you feel the need for greed? We're greedy. We're going. Go. We're going. Here we go. Terminator is on the prowl again. See who it lands on. Jeff. 
has chosen you. You're going for Jeffrey. Here we go, Jeff and Jeffrey. Jeffrey, you'll be over here. Jeff, you're here. Boy, oh boy. Man, you were out of your chair and pointing before I ever got any chance to do anything. $10,000 to you. Winner is going to play for $300,000. Loser is out of the game. I'm going to ask you a question. You can buzz in any time you think you know the answer. Good luck to both of you. Here we go. Complete the name of this famous investment firm. Morgan Stanley Dean Witter. Exactly right. You got you, Jeffrey. All right, thank you for playing the game. You got your $10,000. You got your $10,000. And let's go take a chance. Let's take a chance. Down to three. Jeff's going to be playing for $300,000. Kyle will be playing for $100,000. Michael will be playing for $100,000. Category, as I said, with board games. Gentlemen, here is your $500,000 question. Which four of the following seven facts about the standard game of Monopoly are true? It was initially rejected by Parker Brothers. It inspired a hit 1986 Broadway show with Tommy Toon. Castro once ordered all sets in Cuba destroyed. There are 75 spaces on the board. There is a prisoner in the Monopoly jail. It was invented during the Great Depression. It was played on the moon by Apollo astronauts. Kyle, ready to go? Yeah. Here we go. If I remember the board correctly, and I believe I do, there is a prisoner already in the jail. That's one. Michael. I know that it was made to sort of lift up people's spirits during the Great Depression, to give them a lot of money, so it was a Great Depression invention. That's two. Jeff. Uh, I'm going to say that um, was originally rejected by Parker Brothers. That's three. Jeff, you're the captain. You can choose, make the last choice, or you can pass it off to one of your fellow players. I'm going to pass off to Kyle. Kyle, the last one is yours. <sighs> Given the fact that it's such a capitalistic game, I'm going to go with Castro destroyed the sets. That's number four. Jeff is captain. You can change any one you want, or you can leave it the way it is. It's up to you. What do you choose to do? I'm going to stay with him. Stay with it. $500,000 on the line. We have a prisoner in jail in Monopoly. This game invented during the Depression. It was. Mike was covered. Did Castro order all of these sets in his country destroyed? surprised by that one, Kyle. <laughs> that was yours. Were you surprised? Happily surprised. Happily surprised. Yeah. It's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we're not finished yet. We got one left. Well, well, well. Jeff. Here's something that might interest you. It's $50,000. I don't know how secure you are with Rejected by Car Parker Brothers, but uh, there's $50,000. You can Spread it among your teammates, or you can give it back to me, and you can uh, well, you know what? see if uh, Rejected by Parker Brothers will give you a half a million dollars. You know, I'm not totally sure about that answer, but I say we just go for it anyway. Well, I mean, Tommy Toon. Tommy Toon, I don't know. I always said that one major part of this game was it requires courage, and sometimes in the face of all odds, stand with courage and that's your only partner let's see if this partner stands you in good stead rejected by parker brothers 
for one half million dollars, is it right? Congratulations. You have got won a lot of money. You really have. Have $500,000. Uh, Kyle has $100,000. Michael has $100,000. Jeff, $300,000. Plus, I think, $10,000 for, uh, for a Terminator. So congratulations to you all. So now the question is, do you want to keep that $500,000 you've earned? Or do you want to risk it? Before you answer that question, let me tell you what the million dollar category is. It's television. You want to keep that 500,000 or do you feel the need for greed, Jeff? Unfortunately, Chuck, I am not that comfortable with that category. No? I don't watch. I'm sorry, man. I don't Just... watch much TV. <laughs> Gonna keep that 500,000, Jeff? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Congratulations, buddy. 300,000 to him, 100,000 to Kyle, to Michael. Our thanks. Thank Great you. job. And congratulations again. Just meet your team right out here. Way to go, Kyle. Good job, guys. Good job. Well, it's the time we've all been waiting for. It's time for that greed million dollar moment. This is where one of our players will get a guaranteed chance to play for one million dollars. So let's meet two of our favorite winners first. We have Robert Abramoff. Hey, Robert. Oh, Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, how have you been since you were here last? Uh, great, thanks. Good, Very good. good. Well, we look forward to this. Let's take a look at that winning moment that you had. 310000 I think, wasn't it? That's right. Yeah. For $500,000, is it Ms. Magazine? Yes, it is. A lot of money, Robert. A lot of money. <laughs> a lot of money at stake right now. It's going to be a million dollars. So why don't you go right down there? I'll introduce your opponent. Let's meet our next big winner, Madeline Ali. Come on, Madeline. <laughs> How you doing, sweetie? Good to see you. Welcome back. Thank you. Yeah, you doing all right? Very well, thanks. A little nervous? Very nervous. I bet. A lot of money here at stake. Let's take a look at your winning moment. For a half million dollars, is it the untouchables? Bagged you three hundred and twenty thousand dollars, didn't it? It did. Well, we're gonna play for a lot more money today. Here, Thank you. Right on down here. Tonight's the big stuff. We're gonna start off this uh, special playoff with one question. It's one question Terminator showdown. That'll determine which one of you will move on to our million dollar question. Okay. Remember, you can buzz in at any time you think you know the answer. The winner will play for one million dollars, and as usual with the Terminator. The loser will be out of the game. So I wish you both good luck. And here is your question. In the Disney version of Snow White, who's the only dwarf without a beard? Dopey. You're exactly right. It is Dopey. He got it. Wow, I thought that was really tough. Dopey. Woo. Well, still, $320,000. Thanks for coming by, Madeline. Thank you very much. And congratulations to you, Robert. Boy, we're going to be playing for $1 million in just a minute. We're going to come right back. Watch it. Welcome back to the Green Million Dollar Moment, everybody. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Robert uh, beat uh, Madeline in the Terminator. You know, it shocked me because I thought Dopey was really tough, and I think she was shocked when you came up with it so quickly. How did you do that? Well, you know, Chuck, I have two young girls, and when I heard the words in the Walt Disney film, I knew I was going to get it. Boy, and, uh, well, that was it. it was awfully good and awfully quick, and congratulations, Thank Robert. You. Now it's time to play for $1 million, in addition to the $310,000 you already have. So let me tell you how this is going to go. You're going to have 30 seconds to think about your choices. You're going to have 10 seconds left to give me all four of your answers. If you don't give me all four of your correct answers before 10 seconds is up, you're not going to win anything, okay? Here we go. It's time. 
Here, Robert, is your million dollar question. Which four of the following eight celebrities have been chosen People Magazine's sexiest man alive? Patrick Swayze, Antonio Banderas, Nick Nolte, Kevin Costner, Jimmy Smits, Sean Connery, Denzel Washington, Tom Hanks. You have 30 seconds, and it starts now. Okay. Well, I don't think it's Tom Hanks. I don't think anybody would be terming him sexy, necessarily. Um, Jimmy Smits doesn't sound right. Uh, Patrick Swayze was really popular back then. I don't know. Kevin Costner doesn't match. Sean Connery. Uh, OK. Sean Connery is real popular, so I think he's probably one of them. Yeah. Antonio Banderas. All right. Your thinking time is up. It's time right. for you to give me your four correct answers. You have 10 seconds. Uh, Patrick Swayze, one, Sean Connery, two, Kevin Costner, three, Denzel Washington. Four. You want to change any? Okay. You got it. There they are. Patrick Swayze, Kevin Costner, Sean Connery, Denzel Washington. Here we go, Robert. I hope you get it. I really do. I don't even know. I don't really have... I'm going to play it along with you. All right. Is Denzel Washington correct? It is. That's one. Patrick Swayze. I don't know about you, but the weight's killing me. It's, it's too long. Sean Connery. That's three. Oh, come on, let it be Kevin Cosner. Kevin Cosner, come on, Kevin. Come on, come on. Oh, jeez. Oh, I thought, you know, it could, it could be, you know, any of these guys. I, I got a feeling it could be... Jimmy, it was Nick Nolte. It was Nick Nolte. Oh. I'm so sorry you didn't win that million dollars. It was exciting. Yeah. It was exciting. You still have 310000 Thank you, Robert. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's all the time we have. Be sure to join us next Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern and Pacific, 8 Central Time, Friday night on Fox. See you here on Greed. Bye-bye, everybody. Next week on Greed. Our favorite losers return to get another shot at over $2 million. Plus another million-dollar moment right here on Green.